Tribe of Names, Simon here. Welcome back to the channel. It's actually quite cold here in the studio today, but that's not particularly surprising because we're sitting under a ton of snow here in Philadelphia, which is very pretty to look at, but my God, it's freezing and not fun to walk on. If this is your first time here, my name is Simon Godfrey and I'm a professional musician who has spent the past 35 years working in and sometimes around the recording music industry, writing and performing. On this channel, we provide tips, tricks and gear reviews for all of you aspiring musicians and songwriters out there. So what do we have for you today? Well, we have this little baby, which is the Earthquake Devices Astral Destiny. This is going to be a fairly in-depth review, so I suggest you grab a beverage of your choice, sit back and relax. Now when it comes to shimmer verbs, I'm not usually a huge fan but I do recognize the role that it plays in sound design. We don't have a keyboard player in our band, so I was looking for a unit like this to provide some of those ethereal sustained washes that you often get when you use synths, especially live on stage. This is actually my very first Earthquaker Devices pedal, and I've been looking forward to owning one of their stomps for quite a few years now. I really like them as a brand, and I think they're a fabulous bunch of people, certainly from what I've seen on the internet so far. They're the kind of manufacturer that identifies with the sort of artist I aspire to be. And what I mean by that is I mean a little bit odd, a little bit weird and slightly off the beaten path from the mainstream music scene. So if you're not particularly au fait or you've never encountered a pitch shifting reverb pedal before, don't worry because the answer is pretty much in the title. What it does is it shifts the pitch of the reverb tail and in the case of this pedal, in some very unusual ways, which I will show you in the demonstration shortly. It has eight separate modes to allow you to change the kind of pitch shifting that you can enjoy as you perform. It has a length knob for lengthening or shortening the reverb time. And on this side, it's got eight presets, which I believe you can overwrite with your own as you go, should you decide to do so. So above these three main knobs are four auxiliary knobs, the first two of which deal with adding modulation to the reverb tail. And you can get some quite convincing modulated tremolo if you get it just so. The next one along is the tone control so you can tame some of those shimmering highs should you feel the need. And finally you have the mix knob, which again, interestingly I found that even when you have it full on all the way up, you still have a lot of the dry signal coming through, which I can only believe is a deliberate design feature. And actually I really like it because it allows me control over the fundamental all the way through the reverb process while I'm playing. And finally we have the feature which I personally think sets the Astral Destiny apart from the rest of the pack. And that is this strange stretch feature function on this button which allows you, well I suppose the best way to describe it is it's a little bit like a, a whammy pedal but for the reverb only. So you can go from high ethereal landscapes and dive right down into deep murky washes of sound. Well then, why don't I just plug in my trusty looper pedal, play some pastoral arpeggios and we'll see what this Astral Destiny pedal can do. I've currently got it set to tails mode but you can actually have it as true bypass should you so wish. Let's get to it, shall we?
Wow, you're still here. Well, congratulations for making it this far. I suppose the only thing I've got left to say about this pedal is, what do I think about it? Well, if I'm being really honest with you, for years and years I've genuinely thought that Shimmer Verbs have flirted with the gimmicky. And I've never been a huge fan of anything vaguely gimmicky, when it, certainly when it comes to sound design or making music. But I'll be honest with you, this pedal has won me over. And some of the settings which I genuinely thought I'd have no use for, such as the ascend and the descend features, I thought actually were quite interesting and in some cases compelling in the way that they sounded. It, it gave me access to stuff which I'd previously not anticipated I could achieve on a guitar. In addition to that, the stretch function on this stomp I actually really enjoyed. It has an almost delay-like tone as the reverbs bloom out of the fundamental as it halves the time of the reverb. That was really nice and I genuinely do think this function sets it apart from a lot of these big atmospheric ambient reverbs which you can buy or seem to be so ubiquitous these days. On the downside, well, it's only a mono pedal, but I'll be really honest with you, for me, I will be using this mostly live, just through an amp, so I don't really have an issue with that. And if I really did want to have some kind of stereo width, I could probably do a little bit of studio post-production skullduggery to achieve that kind of effect. So there you have it, the Astral Destiny pitch shifting reverb unit from Earthquaker Devices. Thanks very much for sticking around to the end, and if you're interested in what we do here, please consider subscribing, we'd really appreciate it. So until next time, this is Simon saying Tribe of Names, have a good week. Goodbye.